how do I feel about the production so far? Well, it's the last day of the shoot, so um, looking forward to, to finishing it off. Um, it's been a very different experience. I have a lot of theatrical background and zero film experience before this. So the learning curve has been high. It's been uh, interesting to learn about a, a lot of different assets, about the lighting, um, about the adjustments I have to make as an actor, um, about the uh, different direction style. Um, all sort of, it's, been a, it's been night and day, so it's been a, it's been a good experience to learn from. I feel really good about the production. I like the pacing that we've had. It's been just a joy ride just to be able to work with the cast and crew. So, like I said, overall I feel really good about the production. I feel really good about what we're doing. And I see only good things that are coming out of this. Makeup sessions are, uh, I didn't exactly know what to expect to, uh, as far as visualizing myself older. I didn't know if they were gonna, actually going to try and make me up older. Once I had been cast, I thought maybe they were just gonna try and recast, and make, rewrite the character to be younger, but since, uh, since Dean wanted it to stay older, uh, getting to see myself uh, as I am now, when I'm, you know, middle-aged, I don't really mind it too much. It helps me get into character, and I, I love the feeling of it. You know, the feeling of being this 50-year-old man, this guy who owns this cursed mirror, and basically sees the horrid reflection of himself as the Reaper. So I gotta say that being around makeup doesn't bother me much. It's fun. I love it. I want to do it more often. I think it's uh, the, the. I mean, there were so many, so many aspects. We tried different things, of course. We were trying. And I still wanted that goatee to happen. Damn it, Dean, I wanted the goatee. But I mean, it just it took too much time, you know. Uh, and so, you know, it's, uh, as with a lot of things in life, there are, there are compromises you need to make for logistics sake, for schedule, to keep the integrity of the, uh, the production uh, on track and successful. So uh, it was fun. And I had a good, and I had a good makeup artist. I like how Dean will just, um, you know, take us one by one and explain what we need to know and just ask what we need of us in the scene and we do it. And I like how he's just very straightforward with it. You know, he doesn't make it complicated, he doesn't make it excessively difficult, and he doesn't just go ballistic if we get it wrong. It's like, okay, let's just go for another take, let's just do it again. And he's just easy to work with, it's easy to respond to, and it's just easy to give your all to somebody who can just ask of you in a nice, calm, respectful manner. It's not what I expected. Um, Dean is, what he's done is he's taken each of us as, as actors aside, you know, before we, before we work on the major scenes and uh, tries to ensure that we're kind of on the same page about what goals we're trying to accomplish in the scene, like what our character's aim is, you know, stuff like that. So, which of course any director would do, but he kind of takes us aside and, and doesn't really spend a lot of time during the shoot doing that, just making sure that we're on the same page ahead of time. So I enjoy his directing style. I wish more directors would actually follow suit, but you know, we're in this business, you do what you gotta do and you take what you can get. I'm just fortunate that I have a director who's you know, nice and kind enough to respect me as an actor and I can respect him as a director and we can get the work done needed for the sake of the production. I've found it uh, to be very different in that I didn't expect, or I expected more correction along the way. Um, I expected more adjustments as far as my actual acting, but uh, we've been needing to serve uh, the images that we're trying to project uh, more. So um, I guess the, he's been happy with what uh, I've been providing uh, so far, uh, as far as my own instrument. And it's just a matter of making sure we, we put it the right way into the frames so that we give that picture integrity as far as uh, we want the story to be told.
Man, well, you know, I haven't really been <clears throat> looking at a lot of others, but but there, there's really been this one that like I just couldn't take my mind, off, my eye and mind off of. There's this girl who's here, second day. She's playing the Duchess. Never seen her before. Uh, her name is Amber Dawn Elizabeth Wise, and I love her. She's wonderful. Talk to you. Later. How do I feel about the production so far? Um, well, I'd say probably the part of it that sticks out to me the most is how disorganized it's been. I'm talking to you, Nicole. <laughs>